Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Stargist and welcome back to Call of Duty. Not that kind of duty, but the kind of duty. That is the sacrificial go and kill people kind of duty. In any case, we are in Poland, Warsaw, Warsaw. Oh, is that how you say it? Warsaw. Warsaw. Mm. I forgot what the capital of Poland uh, is. There is, I know it's Warsaw. Is it Warsaw though? I don't know, I forgot. The NK, the NKVD, the NKVD is actually the precursor to the KGB, I believe. It's like the secret police. And when Stalin actually died, there were plenty of disagreements between the Red Army and the NKVD. So yeah, there's that. A little bit of historic trivia for you. I'm not quite sure that it's facts because I don't remember when the last time was I read up about World War II. I think it was in high school and that was six years ago. Yeah, my last year of high school, 18. I'm 24 now. Holy shit, I'm getting fucking old. Yeah, I'm definitely getting old. But I'm still young enough to kill a bunch of Nazis in a video game, so that's all good. Oh, I actually got ammo for the Luger. That's quite nice. Get back here, you stupid Nazi. <sighs> but when I look that there's still people who are actually Nazi inclined, that is fascist, fascistically inclined. I don't know, it just seems stupid. I mean, when you take a look at uh, what World War II has brought upon the entirety of the world, and I mean, nobody paid a higher price than fucking Russia. They lost a lot of people. And then you have fucking... Guys still worshipping Hitler. I mean, it's fucking stupid. It really makes no sense. I'm all for, you know, supporting your country and whatnot, but... Being a racist prick? That just... That just stupid. Why would you be a racist prick? That I just don't get. There we go. It's a fucking mystery. Fuck off, you Nazi prick. Okay, surprisingly nobody is in here yet. Well, it really isn't a surprise. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Oh, that, those are my guys. God damn it, you can't really just jump out of a fucking door like that. And you know, just fuck around with me. That's a good way to get yourself fucking shot. There we go. Come on, let's go, private. We have fucking Nazis to torture and kill. There we go. Hmm. 
Okay, perfect. Yeah, oh, that's actually mission over. I thought I was gonna get killed there. Okay, so yeah, we're basically just moving on. That's what that thing was. Good thing we have a bunch of health here, and we do have a machine gun somewhere around here. Mm-hmm. Fuck off. You can't. And I also noticed that the explosions that happen around here aren't really artillery shells, but instead two hand grenades that just happen to explode at the same time. They're not actually artillery shells. That's what I noticed, at least during one of my playthroughs. There we go. Okay, let's move on. Oh yeah, that's this is definitely going to come into play. I yeah, tank is gonna appear. Yep, and there it is. Panzer Shraken. It tracks Panzers. There we go. It's also pretty good for clearing out the infantry, you know? Okay, let's... Holy fuck, I lost all of my health and all of my ammo as well. That's bad. Oh, but their fill boxes here are quite nicely done. I even got me some ammo for the MG, that is for the MP40. Yeah, that grenade doesn't really interest me that much. There we go, dead. Ooh, that was a double. Private Subgaida. I mean, the names are just fucking butchered to no end. The only ones they get right are Yuri and Reznov or something with an R. What a fucking idiot, he just pops up his head. And... There we go. Okay, now we can actually move in. Oh, and I got killed. How exciting is that? Yeah, and all the way up here. Oh, well, that's fucking beautiful. Fucking move, private. There we go. And... Let's actually get another one. And another one. Okay. There we go. What else is next? There we go, he's fucking dead. How the hell did you survive that though? There we go. Let's just do this, you know, American style. And don't get me wrong, I'm not making fun of the Americans, but they just tend to blow everything up to smithereens, and I absolutely love and support that. I mean, it is like one of the best ways to deal with enemies. Just blow everything up sky high. Do 
Do, 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 do. Okay, but perhaps, you know, blowing up everything to smithereens in an inaccurate way isn't really that good, you know? There we go. Let's reload. Come on, poke your head out. Nazi prick. Okay, let's get some Panzer tracks up in there. I mean, destroying enemy Panzers is always a good tactical choice. Holy shit, was that inaccurate. Okay, put some rounds in there. Okay, perfect. Let's actually grab the PPSH and move on. I do believe only one Panzer is left, and I believe that's a Panzer Mark IV. I'm not mistaken, of course. There we go. More health. Even more ammo, which is always appreciated. Especially in these tough times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can advance to my position, but you're just gonna get fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get some. Freaking idiots. Okay, let's grab all of the ammo that we can. Perfect, and let's rendezvous with our guys. Hmm. Still alive? Well, good. That's good. Good for you. We must get out of here. Mm -hmm. Before the artillery starts. Of course that's good for me, you fucking idiot. I want to be alive. Alright, now we're going to drive a tank. Which is nice. Okay. Okay, now. Mm hmm. And them. There's still another one. They'll comment something that you can hide Hitler in hell, or they'll say good shooting or something along those lines. The main objective is just not to get hit. And to aim quite correctly. You can see at the bottom left corner of the screen where the compass is. What exactly is happening and in which direction your turret is facing. Now obviously you're gonna want to stick uh, your tank to the front and you're gonna want to use all the cover that you can use. So there's that and I just fired at a bush. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's advance. There we go, that's one down. Another down, and... There we go. There's still one asshole left, right there. I haven't even hit once yet, so that's good. Oh, but our comrades are getting hit, and we must support them. There we go. You're not supposed to charge in recklessly, you don't know that, right? And... you're fucked.
There we go. And we'll actually have been hit. Which is not good at all. And... There we go. Okay. Good, let's move on. That should be it, uh, tank-wise. Infantry-wise, we don't really care. We can run over them. We can, the turrets will automatically fire. And if we spot large groups of enemies, we can always just do this. And it doesn't really matter. We're gonna want to avoid the Panzer Shreks. As we saw them. But mostly when it comes to infantry, you're gonna want to be on the move. And always having your tank facing the front side is a good idea as any. But sadly, oh, you can knock down trees. I mean, it only makes sense, but still. Yeah, that's a bush. There we go. You should also wait for backup. Engaging the enemy alone is a bad idea. You know. There we go. And there are our comrades. We're just gonna let a couple of them go through. There we go, it's a good thing he didn't notice us. Okay, we're just going to move back. So we can get a better shot. God damn it. I'm guessing I can take about a couple of more hits before I... Yeah, I'm fucked, basically. This might be the time that I actually die in a fucking tank. Well, for Soviet motherland, let's charge. And hope that the spirit of Stalin is with us. Looks like he is. Which is fantastic. Because even... Because if I take one little hinky dink, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> good, it's mission over. And so is this video.